All right. Another beautiful windy day for a profile maiden. The Bayer model. Vertigo. Powered by a Sunny Sky 2305 1450 3S 15 amp ZTW uh, Mini, I think it's called. 15 amp, oh yeah, ESC. Uh, Emacs ES09 MD for ailerons. Power HD DSM44 for the other two. And that's what it. In a receiver. <laughs> uh, I don't really know about CG on this plane. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna guess about right there, which I'm thinking should be about right, but we'll find out. But again, it's a windy day, so not sure I'll be able to do a whole lot of CG uh, checking. It's hard to tell what the plane is doing and what the wind is doing to the plane. Let's see, I think it might actually be a slightly nose heavy still. Is it? No, maybe not. It might just be roughly perfect. Can't see anything that way though. Because that sun. This plane uh, needs more elevator, I think. Probably more rudder. But that's all I could get out of it. For these servos, they don't seem to have a whole lot of travel. So I might have to. They do seem to have more travel in one direction than they do in the other, so I might have to. Uh, purposely offset the um uh set the sub trim and then we'll uh, be able to uh maybe get a little bit more travel in both directions So far, I can't uh, see I have anything to complain about about this plane. It seems to do what it's supposed to. I think I got pretty close for the CG. Seems to be fairly even. It's hard to tell with the wind, like I said, though, so we'll fine tune that at a later time, but. I'd say that's pretty much dead on. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny amount uh, nose heavy, but that's so little that it, that's the kind of thing I don't even care to dial out because I don't fly enough straight lines that it's going to matter. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's some though. Jeez, my eyes are burning from this. looking <laughs> towards the sun. Ah, I can't see that way at all. I don't know if the camera can even see that way. Because this way I got nothing but trees. But yeah, it needs more rudder. We'll see if I can eke a little bit more out of it. Ah. Oh, tree there. Thought maybe I could fly it up, but it was nose down. By the time it kind of got out of the tree. 
Oh, man, like I said, it's open this way. It's only trees. Oh, well, my battery popped out too. I gotta figure out my CG again. Where did I have it? I think it was probably about right there. Huh? I think it's about where I had it. Location is pretty much right on. tree again. <laughs> See, it hovers easier than the, the crack yak. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just when I reach out to grab it, it just uh, gained altitude suddenly and uh, it's out of reach. <laughs> so, let's, let's try that again. <laughs> Jeez, that wind is just not wanting me to catch this today. It's like every time I reach out for it, it just takes off in a different direction. Again, it just goes left or right. It seems it doesn't want to. Does not want to come straight. Anywho. But yeah, the Bay of Vertigo. Blatant rip off of RC Factory, I guess. I think. I don't know. I tried to find an RC Factory Vertigo. They don't have a regular Vertigo. They got a Vertigo Light, I think. That's all I could find. Anyway, the maiden is done. Only hit one tree, and that's not bad. Oh, yeah. The underside is carbon fiber scaffolding, weighed in 171 grams. I added a little bit extra scaffolding in the back to stiffen up the tail here, so see how that works out. Anyway, I like it.